What's up everybody, John from Pause Games here. Welcome to Campaign Killer. Today we are kicking off the campaign for Far Cry 6 on the Xbox One. Alright, so the same kind of deal as with Back for Blood, I think it was. Uh, lots of like accessibility things, which is actually pretty cool that this is a part of games now, right? Screen calibration, uh, just to fit the area. Okay, I'm not even seeing it yet. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that's calibrated to my TV. I apologize again in, re in regards to, uh, you know, the recording. Brightness, I'm going to have to turn pretty far up so that I can actually see it. I don't want to turn it too high up. I'm going to put it at 75. Hopefully that doesn't wash out the picture too bad. Um, HDR setup. I'm going to say yes. Sure. Is available only on displays that support HDR. Oh, whoops. Okay. So I guess my HDTV doesn't support HDR. So that's good to know. Anyway, let's move on here. <laughs> Uh, audio interface, dynamic range, blah, 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 subtitles on, sound subtitles off, audio language, don't care. I mean, I imagine it's probably in English. Uh, motion plur, plur, motion plur, motion blur. Uh, peace, love, unity, respect in motion. That's what we're... <laughs> anyway, let's start a new game here. Uh, action mode. This is the classic Far Cry experience recommended for most players. Enemies hit harder and health takes longer to recover. You will need strategy and creativity to survive. Story mode. This is the Far Cry experience for players who focus on story and exploration. Engaging for any skill level, take less damage and recover faster. I think I'm going to go with story mode. I know that makes me feel like that seemed like a weenie. I am a weenie. So leave me alone. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm not a, I myself, I'm not a gatekeeper when it comes to uh, difficulties. And I do this, I say this pretty much every time I sign on uh, or I start a campaign. I'm not here to just be frustrated and just deal with the most complicated uh, and difficult version of any given game. I'm here to enjoy the game, have fun playing, um, get through the story and, t you know, take in the story, and not be riddled with such difficulty that I can't enjoy what I'm doing, you know, and I don't want to have to play the same level over and over and over again. I want to face difficulties at times, like in boss fights, where there's supposed to be a moderate level of difficulty, but I don't want to just be tackled and pounded into the dirt constantly. That's just not fun for me. So I absolutely applaud anybody who is willing to publicly play easy mode or story mode in this one. I almost clicked story mode without even a second thought. I thought it action mode was like multiplayer or something. It's not. I don't even think this game has multiplayer. Um, but regardless, let's dive in here. It, the long load times right out of the gate. Here we go. <laughs> Vera is an island in the heart of the Caribbean. In 1967, a guerrilla revolution led to a crippling blockade. Frozen in time for 47 years, the island collapsed into poverty until a new leader was elected with a cure to rebuild paradise. El Presidente of Yara. Anton, Antoine? Anton? Castilli, Castillo? Castillo? My true Yaras. Anton Castillo. I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own... Right out of the gate, I can tell that the, most the graphics look absolutely phenomenal. And I can only imagine on the Xbox Series X, it would look even better. But... Like so many games I've seen before it, the mouths do not match up with the dialogue, seemingly. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, 
With renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island, chosen to produce enough Bibiro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Ooh, okay. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics. Lisa. Okay, so it is Castillo. You think the draft is only taking through Yadans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead in Yara. You can't run from this. Hang on. You did stuff. So the actual gameplay, the, the audio lines up significantly better. You're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia, it's just the cutscenes, which is interesting, right? That's weird. <laughs> The cutscenes, if anything, I think would be. Fucking say something. I think I would think it would be the opposite. Okay, so I'm Danny Rojas. Select character. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. So Danny Rojas is either a dude or a lady. I thought I was the kid. All right, so I'll do the dude because I'm a dude. Like, I'm a dude. Yo soy Danny Rojas. Select Danny's Go look solo me. campaign only. Danny. Okay. You could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck up. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Hi. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. Drinks in Mexico. That was the easiest Here achievement I think I've ever unlocked in a game. I thought it was like it, you got an achievement for picking, you know, the male version. Fucking packet? Oh yeah, what's going on? Ooh. What the fuck? You know, every, see that, every revolution, game, movie, TV show, whatever. Yeah, like, you always have some asshole, like, symbolically throwing a bottle, like a glass bottle at a tank or whatever. But, you know that's not gonna do shit. If anything, that guy just literally fucked everybody on this rooftop. And himself, obviously, he just got shot in the head. Which, maybe it's, in his thought process, maybe it's better to die throwing a glass bottle and saying, fuck Castillo, than it is to, you know, live like this. Do I have a gun? Did I miss my gun? Can I have a gun? You're unarmed, stay out of sight of any soldiers. Okay. So they're explicitly looking for me. Where are the stairs down? Over there, where they are, okay. Hey Rojas, should have answered the call. Next asshole who opens the door is Danny Rojas. Come on. They go down the steps? Okay, so we got people down there. Oh, there's my Amazon Prime delivery. <laughs> I'm waiting all day for that. Okay, I think we escaped. Oh shit. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. What the fuck? Come on, all right, he just got shot. What the hell is that? Some shit just exploded. Come on, we gotta move. Am I? Am I? Oh no, she is with me. Okay, I thought I was talking to myself at first.
Ah, so that was a tank that shot off. All right. This game does look just freaking beautiful, though. We need to get across that square. They're going to see us. No, trust me. Take in the sewers? How the hell do we get into the sewers? Oh. Hmm. Lita knows how to get into the sewers. <laughs> yeah, she kind of reminds me of like an April O'Neil kind of character. We might go down to the sewers, maybe meet up with some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Rats everywhere. So there certainly aren't going to be any soldiers down here, right? Yeah, from when we were kids. Alright, so just follow the arrows, I guess, right? Even though we're going in the wrong direction, in theory. <laughs> okay, so we're going up now? I guess? What the hell is that? It's just, just bursting down here. I'm assuming they can't see us down here, right? They're just rolling over. Nobody's expecting their VIP to be... Well, seemingly their VIP. I don't know why I'm of importance to them, but it seems like they're hunting me specifically. Um, but nobody expects me to be in the sewers. So it does seem like they're making their way down to the sewer. Alright, reach the rooftops now. How the hell? Dead end my ass. There's a ladder right here. Ooh. I'm hearing gunshots all around me. And explosions? <laughs> Alright, using the zip line now. Cross the rooftops. Uh. Holy shit! To vault over obstacles. I don't know how to get. Do I have to, like, climb up or something? Alright, so there's still arrows spray-painted around. I'm not ziplining, am I? Oh, there's a ladder right here. Duh! The arrows made sense at first in the sewers because it... It led me to assume... Alright, I'm gonna zipline. It led me to assume that they, it was because, like, the revolution was down there or whatever. But now, now there are just arrows on, like, the sides of buildings and stuff that would otherwise, that, like, help me along in my path, but otherwise wouldn't be able to be predicted. Like, the only reason it was in the right place at the right time was because, like, half the building exploded or whatever the hell happened. Wait, am I supposed to be going this way? Lita, why aren't you leading? Can I ask that? I just feel like you should be leading, because you're the one that knows where we're actually going. The boat's over there. Run. Okay, so we're just sprinting at this point. Sorry, but I can't help. Uh, 
Okay, we made it to the boat. Okay, so we made it to the boat. Was that part of a cinematic trailer or something? That seems that that scene right there seems extremely uh, familiar. Like everything about it. Don't worry about it, Chimaco. Here, that's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lita. We survive. Same as the orphanage. Same as the academy. Yeah, it was because he's he gets on the boat and he pulls me off specifically. Spoiler alert. But yeah, okay, so this was part of like a cinematic trailer or something released a while back. the fish and then release them he would say it's not always about your stomach mijo. it's about the challenge except when he caught a big fat juicy marlin <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go you have poison yara you have poison your soul <laughs> I'm just curious as to what I she thought was going to happen. Very big fish today. Have an eye, Diego. Diego! No way. I have caught you, Diego. Okay. Now it's time to bring you home. <laughs> I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish, we will catch and release. I think release means murder. What the hell just happened? I think we're fucked. Drown. Oh, Lita just got snuffed out. Danny just cracked his head on the pipe, it looked like. <laughs> this is good. This is a good way to start. I feel really, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I feel really good about this. So that was our first real introduction to, I, I want to say Anton. I'm not 100% sure that's the correct pronunciation. I apologize. Anton and Diego, his son. Okay, so he's washing up. On, Danny washed up on the beach, I assume alone. Somehow. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Nita. I can't feel my legs. Fuck. This is all my fault. My phone. Yeah, forget it, Lita. My phone. It's waterlogged, Lita. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fake. What? She's hiding here. Lara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. He's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop it, Lita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. <laughs> I feel like all these dead people are probably the lucky ones in in actuality. <laughs> well, at least I'm not empty-handed anymore. Far Cry 6. Here we go. This is the beginning. So I have a machete now? Where's my machete? I, I just had a machete. <laughs> so many dead. Search the beach oh. for supplies. I should look for supplies and get the fuck out oh, of this here. That's crazy. There are literally just corpses everywhere. Okay, so now I've got a gun. But no ammo. That's great. Need to find that gun. Oh, I just got a text message? I'm like. Why do I feel like you weren't even on the boat? Compared to everyone else, they look very pale. Have they been here a, a while? I know this isn't what I should be doing. But I'm just curious. So, like, they're all, like, waterlogged corpses, which is really gross and creepy. But also, <laughs> then you have Lita. This is fate. Who is not seemingly waterlogged or bloated at all. Pulling the trigger on a gun I don't have ammo for. Oh wait, so Lita's phone has a photo that will help me find Liberdad. Okay. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. How do I open my phone? Okay, so here's my arsenal. I've got the machete... I've got my gun with no ammo. Got my basic stuff. I guess this is something for my head. Um, inventory. Then we have the system sign off the same way we have in like Ghost Recon. Uh, the m most recent Ghost Recon games. Breakpoint and I think Wild Wildlands was similar. So inventory we have... Um, Parts and scraps, printing materials, <laughs> logistics, Diego's baseball card, tradables, I don't know, oh, okay, so up is to take a picture. Oh, that's kind of cool. The crabs, that's pretty. That's cool and all, but I don't know, I still don't know how to... Oh, there we go. So down... Down on the directional pad is, uh... To pull out the phone. Let me examine it real quick. Whoops. What the hell? Oh, left trigger. <laughs> so is it just right here?
I don't think I needed a phone diagram to find this. The bunker. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really difficult, but uh, I think I could put that away now. Is this ammo. Recycled fasteners. Jesus. Who's shooting? Better stay quiet. Okay, so I can't actually. Okay, so that's how you do that. You melee. There's a, some kind of animal, like above me or something, I guess. I don't know. Collecting parts. Bloodstained note. Uh, Raphael. Take the spray paint and mark the trails. Your markers will guide us. Okay. Blue is the true color of our flag, not that rag Castillo uses. Okay. Your family will probably never know what happened to you. So there's some kind of animal down there. Still no ammo, though. <laughs> so that's a problem. There's... <sighs> I don't know. There's no ammo anywhere. So I feel like I do have to go this way. But there's definitely hostile forces or some kind of hostile activity up ahead. So I have to proceed with caution. Sneak up on an unaware soldier and use the right stick for a silent machete kill. Yeah, that was real silent. Alright, I think everybody's dead now. <laughs> so let me run back out to her. Any ammo that I can collect off of these bodies? No? Not seemingly? <laughs> Wait, what was that? Pesos, okay. What's this? Could be useful. Leg gear. Okay. Orders. A refugee ship sank off the coast last night. Locate the wreckage and see search for survivors. If you find anyone alive, bring them straight to the plantation. We need more bodies to work the fields after the after the cholera outbreak. Uh, Commandante Rosario. So Commander Rosario, I think that's... <laughs> Alright, so find Clar Clara's camp. Uh, I can follow the marked blue trail on the map from the photo. Which one's that again? Yeah, but... I don't know. There, there's... This isn't a map. This is just through the over the river and through the woods is what it's describing here. Whatever. Yeah, this, is, this isn't a map. This is a drawing. And a bad one at that. What just dripped? Or fell? I definitely just saw something fall. Like a bird shit on the ground or something. Get to Liberta. Steal a boat. Sell the fuck out of Yara. Okay, so there are blue arrows, though. talking to myself. Perfecto. So there are blue arrows... Holy shit! Alright. 
one damaged animal meat. Uh, cool. I didn't want to blow it away, but it ran at me, right? I don't know. I just kind of assumed that it was going to try to kill me. <laughs> so now we know it's not just Bad time to be a guerrilla. people out here that are trying to kill me. It's also animals. I'm just completely guessing that this is how I climb, but somehow I got it right. We got a windmill here, and uh, or a fan. It's interesting. <laughs> there's no hostile activity showing on my map. Does that indicate there's no hostile activity, or doesn't it always show on the map? Because that animal came out of nowhere. Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Okay, so we found Clara. <laughs> Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? Si, lucky. Lita knew the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here, that's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay, a few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda. <laughs> You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny? Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Abisu. Gonna save Yara with the library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? Castillos got what? 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. Okay. And all this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for tourists. Yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. He'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. Alright, so we're looking for Juan Gor Cortez. Uh, <laughs> just like in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, in, in do Ubisoft fashion. 
It's all about finding people. There's always somebody that has to be found. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in and let me know when you want to pay your rent. All right, so now I've got a real gun, not a handgun with, you know, 10 rounds in it, <laughs> and not just a machete. Although, those machete stealth kills are just absolutely fucking ridiculous, right? I mean, there's no... whatever. So we got the FAL. <laughs> Your map is now available. Use this to open it. Okay. So I guess this is how much we've seen, so to speak. Maybe not seen at all, but been in the area. Been in the vicinity. Um, this is where we started. So that's the bunker. Yeah, we made our way up here. Again, that first map was trash. Didn't help at all, really. <laughs> um, so where is Juan Cortez? Do we know that yet? We need to talk. Oh. I attacked this Juan of a kind. What the hell? Juan, Juan of a kind. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. Pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed, he walked straight out of my camp. Castillo soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with Libertad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. All right, so we're going to a bar. So accepting and tracking. <laughs> I hope for your sake he's sober. Got it. That's helpful. Your journal is now available. It allows you to track your next move. Okay. Don't get yourself killed out there. Yeah. I'll try not to. What does fall damage look like in this game? I imagine there is some. I feel like just cutting through here is the best way to get mauled by a bear or something. Or like the tropical equivalent of a bear. So like, I don't know, a koala? A panda? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know where the hell I am, to be honest. Like, is it, I think this is a South American... Oh, no, it said in the Caribbean, right? Okay, so it, that answers that. <laughs> is this a zipline? Are you serious? I could have ziplined down here? You shitbirds. I could have ziplined down here. Holstering your weapon. That's what I was trying to figure out. Okay. So, okay, the LB will still draw suspicion. Okay. Oh, so, okay, there's a holster butt, a specific holster button. Okay. And then the trigger button quick draws it back out. Okay. So basically it said, like, even if your gun is holstered, if you get too close to a soldier, they're gonna recognize you're not, I don't know, one of them or one of the people that they're used to. <laughs> so I'm not gonna go that way. That looks like a stupid way. Is there another zip line I should, I should know about? I want to experiment with fall damage. And see how far I can jump without taking damage. <laughs> but another part of me just doesn't care. Well, cares, but, you know. Doesn't want to die. A main part of me just doesn't want to die. <laughs> so there's definitely a hostile presence in this neck of the woods.
new fast travel location available. Okay, so there is a way you can just, that looks like a you know, wander through. <laughs> it's a shame, this does look like a really nice town. Or a nice little, like, beach community. Looks like somebody should be, like, you know, sanded down a surfboard or something. Alright, Juan Cortez. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Nada. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. The Guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez. What do you think gave it away, Guapo? I, Guapo, the pet alligator with a t shirt on. What the fuck is happening? See. Long ago, never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, Wapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, Guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. I want an alligator now. You fucking rat. You're worth more dead anyway. I mean, in fairness, you did just call him an ugly bartender. See, what boy's in love with you? Oh, Jesus. I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. All right, so he got a real rigged up gun there. Juan Cortez looks like he's uh got this shit down. I want an alligator, dude. Oh shit. Why are people so hard to go down? Like, why don't they die? Oh, I was gonna say, why are they shooting over there? Are they shooting at their own people? I didn't realize Guapo was over there. <laughs> Shitting on people, dude. I want a pet alligator. Good work, Guapo. Okay, we're good. Let's get the hell out of here before the whole fucking army shows up. I saw somebody. I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. I saw somebody advertising or uh, saying about how um. What game is it? Shit. Game that just came out. I forget. Oh, uh, the new Guardians of the Galaxy game. There's like a space dog, a communist space dog or something in it. And they're like, he's the goodest boy of all the good boys. But I'll tell you what. Wait, what the fuck just happened? I lost Juan? Oh, what the hell? I thought we were going back. Why wasn't he following me? Oh, what the hell? First mission failed. Anyway. So I guess I have to follow him. I don't know. But I'll tell you what. I think Guapo is the goodest boy. I mean, he's he's an alligator. Maybe a crocodile. Not totally sure the difference. But, uh... <laughs> oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Where is he, dude? Guapo's over here. Come on, let's go. We got business. Where are you? Is that you? Oh, okay. How did I lose you last time? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you serious? He's wearing flip-flops, and the bastards that developed this game decided to include the, fli the clippity clopping flip-flop sounds? I complain... I complain when my wife wears flip-flops, and I hear that clippity clopping. Now I gotta listen to fucking Juan Cortez over here. Running around clippity clopping in flip flops. Can I just blow your feet off right here, right now? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The cerveza and chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. Coming with me? Fuck no. You got Wapo. You can tear shit up with him. But if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. Yeah, I'm not trying to be sneaky, I don't think. Guapo, you good? Yo, Kuwapo is just tearing shit up right now. Does Guapo mean beautiful or fat? Gordo is fat. So Guapo, I think, is pretty. El Guapo. I don't know Spanish very well. I learned just basic vo vocab words. Words. I don't know real words in English, let alone Spanish. Uh, but yeah, no, I learned like basic vocab words in Spanish in uh, high school. This is more like it. Yeah, baby. But outside of that, nah, I don't know shit. But I think Guapo means pretty, which is just a beautiful name for this guy. Let's go, Guapo. I'm already in love with Guapo. Guapo is the best. All right. Stealing supply drop takes takes a hot minute to steal the supply drop. What the hell are you going to do with this one? Gunpowder. Three gunpowders. Come on, Guapo. Let's go, bud. Dude, Guapo's the best. Rock on, Guapo. You the real OG. Wait, did I miss something? Ah, shit. I missed something. Hold on. Come on, Guapo. Oh, I only got... A certain number of supplies, I guess. Now I got all four. All right, Guapo. We're trespassing, Guapo. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. So what's with all this junk? You building something? <sighs> Those fucking flip flops, dude. <laughs> I love Guapo, dude. How did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. The only thing more annoying, I'll be real right now. The only thing more annoying than his fucking clip clopping flip flops is uh is the fact that he has a laser sight on and it's not he's not turning it off. I know Guerrilla. So there's just a red beam all over the fucking place. Guapo, up here, bud. Come on, Guapo. Guapo, you're going the wrong way, dude. Come on, bud. I don't give a shit about you, Juan. I'm not leaving Guapo behind. You coming, Guapo? There he is. Oh, you're a little speedy motherfucker, aren't you? I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. The horse is out of the barn and there's cocaine on the kids. I don't know. Of course. And you think Americans want your Yaran blood? The American dream is for Americans, You don't quit, do you? Nope. Come on, Guapo. Guapo hates quitters. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Guapo goes with those. Those therapy dogs in your 
precious American. Mm -hmm. You can trust Wapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. I'm there. I'm there. I trust Guapo with my life. I like how he's tailing, or like trailing us, in case anybody tries to sneak up behind us. Ain't nobody sneaking up behind us with Guapo on the on the case here. Hi, lady. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> How many others? The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hepa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton fascista. So now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. So just to clarify, the only one, Danny. he came all the way back here. Juan, he came all the way back here. We were running through the woods. At any time, he could have taken a piss. Anyway, rule eleven for a gorilla. A gorilla. Uh, resolver. Rev resolver isn't making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. A resolver. Okay. <laughs> I want to say. I said. Gorilla. It's either gorilla or Garia, depending on. Six, I yeah. my first bite with the jinx on altar. The blockade means I have to resolve every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos. Didn't even. Everything you got. Didn't even have to read that. <laughs> Keep talking. But yeah, like I was saying, he could have pissed at any point on the hike back here. But he waited until he got into a camp, into a civilization, and was like, I don't, I don't piss just anywhere here on the island. I've got to piss near other people. That's how I do this. And he was at a bar, so he could have gone while he was there. There's the ocean, also. Many other options, other than walking all the way up here to civilization. <laughs> anyway, so we're learning how to use the workbench. Resolve our workbench. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix that. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's not my fault. Rule number nine: Always use the right tool for the right job. Ammo In socket. Case, it's gunpowder and scraps. Sometimes I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, how can you kill people faster? Soft target rounds. The answer is soft target rounds. He lies awake at night, Excellent, Danny. thinking about that. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay. Let's look at your other rifle. Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. You're gonna These do. rounds fly straight and true and go through Kevlar like shit through a goose. Nice. Now you got your own armor piercing high round. Velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. Okay. This will turn a bang into a bang at the cost of some range. See how easy that was? Okay. Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. <laughs> the workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Ah, a friend with benefits. All right. They've been holding their own so far. Ah, making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you can build a new yada. Who the hell's talking in the background? Operation completed. One of a kind. Yo, guapo. You'd a real MVP, though. Can we talk about that? Resolver and scavenging. Resolver weapons to improve and customize them at the workbench using materials. That's a weird way to use the word resolver. I don't even know if resolver is a real word, but... Uh, steal materials from military supply drops. Hunt animals to trade meat for materials. Okay. <laughs> that croc looks mean as hell. Nah, he looks friendly as shit. He's wearing a hoodie, dude. Who the hell... Who, who are you kidding? Got nothing to say to you. Hi. Shit. Nothing to say to me. I'll finally see my vision through. You ready? Today, teacher sending you on a field trip. All right. So the field trip is where we'll pick up next time here on Campaign Killer. Uh, Juan has a field trip for me, so we'll see what uh, what that's all about. But that was the uh, the beginning. 
We're just kicking off the campaign here in Far Cry 6. Very, very exciting to be picking up this game. And uh, Guapo is already my favorite character. Yeah, I do, actually. Where did Guapo go? Just missing one tiny piece. Oh, Guapo is just meandering around like a cool dude. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> with that being said, make sure to subscribe to the channel here at Pause Games. Uh, make sure to ring that bell for notifications when I upload new video content such as this, new episodes of Campaign Killer featuring Far Cry 6. Make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, this and every video uploaded to the Pause Games YouTube channel is in order to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis research. So... Uh, with that being said, if you're interested in learning more about the project, jump on over to our official website at pause.tv. That is P-O-Z-Z -Z dot TV. <laughs> this alligator is angry, dude. Everybody's talking around me, too, so I can't concentrate on my spiel here. Uh, I think I got everything out. So with that being said, um, yeah, I'm John from Pause Games, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast. And I'll talk to you guys next time right here on Campaign Killer. Thank you so much for watching.